What's up, you beautiful collectors? This is Optibotomus coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Takara Tomy Transformers Movie The Best MB08 Starscream. For the package, you got a nice open window with no figure in there because I already took it out. You got a couple images here along the side, including a really large one of Starscream. And when you come around to this side here, you got a little bit of a read-up that talks about how the movie came out 10 years ago in 2007 and things like that. The opposite side here has images from the other movies. You got the first 2007, Revenge of the Fallen, Dark of the Moon, and of course, Age of Extinction. And then on the back of the package, you got an image of Starscream both in his robot as well as his jet mode. And a little bit of a read-up down here, which, again, I don't know how well this is trained translating it but reading it it says that starscream is basically just like a girl which again i don't know if that's exactly what it translates to but that actually kind of sounds sexist because what's wrong with being a girl absolutely nothing it goes on to talk about how basically he has his own interests in mind most of the time and that he is a fairly big nuisance to the autobots Talks about how he also does have a very state-of-the-art jet mode being the F-22 Raptor. And that he's actually really good at air combat, making use of the ability to fly even while transforming. And we saw that very thing in the very first movie, which did make for a really cool action sequence, I thought. And this figure is actually a repaint of the Revenge of the Fallen Voyager class Starscream. Giving him a little bit more of an original movie sort of look. So, getting that out of the way, here we have them. And like I said, this is the superior version of the Voyager class figure. Now, we got a Voyager class from the first movie and then Revenge of the Fallen. Now, we also did get a Dark of the Moon. I think it was a Dark of the Moon, a deluxe figure. But this is the Voyager, and this is definitely the better of the Voyager figures that we've ever gotten. But as you can see, instead of all those tattoos that he had, it is just in a desert sort of camouflage, I guess, or aligned with how he looked in the original movie. Now, this is not my preferred figure. That is still, in my opinion, the leader class one. But I do like the paint job on here more than that leader class one with all the tattoos. Uh, now, I know that Takara did do a uh, kind of like a movie masterpiece thing way back that took that leader class figure and gave it a paint scheme like this. I never got that figure, and I'm kind of kicking myself because that's one that I would like to have. But unfortunately, it's now like $800. It's ridiculous how much it's going for on the aftermarket. So this is not a figure that's going to really make its way to my uh, display because I do have the uh, leader class one there. But this is still a pretty decent figure. I do think that there could be some more paint applications. Jet mode, the, I think, looks absolutely perfect. Uh, it's the robot mode that it really gets very lackluster, and you'll see that here in a bit. But like I talked about, you got the little desert sort of motif, which is kind of weird because it doesn't fly upside down like that, so I, there's nothing really looking down. I guess maybe satellites could like look down, and when it's flying, it's going to look like it's a desert, but I don't know. I, I would think that you would want some of that kind of stuff on the bottom, but what do I know about military stuff? Absolutely nothing. Uh, again, the an eyesore on this mold with the, the fact that the hands uh, just kind of are there. I like tucking them up because leaving them down like that looks kind of even worse. Tucking them up here makes it look a little bit better. Uh, it's still kind of an eyesore and you got his uh, arm cannons that kind of like stick out here, which again doesn't look all that bad. It's kind of like a, a thruster, but you can see that the actual thrusters are in the inside here. One thing that I'm kind of seeing is that on the inside here, uh, there looks like it's like a painted kind of thruster thing where this one doesn't have that. That's kind of weird. I don't know how well that's gonna come across. Let me zoom in to kind of show you. Maybe I'm crazy, but uh, you can kind of see how that has like a little painted section on the inside, it's a little bit gold. That doesn't have anything. Uh, and I don't have the original one anymore. So I don't know if that's, the way that it's supposed to be here, if that's missing a piece. So I have no idea. I mean, honestly, you can't even really see it, but it is nice that that's actually included there. As I said, I unfortunately don't have that original one to compare this to, but you guys remember what it looked like. It had all the tattoos and such. I got a nice Decepticon logo there. Overall though, good looking paint job here for his jet mode. I think it is the best. You do still have the uh, missiles down here. I'm gonna take these off because we're gonna need to for the transformation, but I do think that jet mode is the best looking for this particular figure as you can see he does still have the landing gear you just tuck those up there these just fold 
in just like so and it, it flies around uh the undercarriage is actually pretty clean it doesn't look really all that bad kind of streamlined that uh, nicely i would say uh bringing these back out uh but now because we have seen the transformation on this before i am going to skip it it is the exact same there are no remolded parts that i can really tell uh, if you do need any help whatsoever with the transformation instructions on this my playlist for uh, the revenge of the fallen figures are available to you so if you need any help with the instructions just check that out find star scream if you have any questions you may ask me but utilizing some of that good old-fashioned movie magic we're gonna go from star scream looking like this so looking like this, and again, while because of the uh, coloring that they used for the actual jet mode, a lot of the details on here are very much like what Starscream had in the first movie. But there's just a lot that I feel is kind of lacking, especially in this area. Now, if you remember, the original one had a lot of those tattoos, but it also had a lot of black detailing that was kind of put in here. I do feel like this is missing it. When I'm looking at it, I just, I'm really kind of underwhelmed by the paint detail on here. At least compared to some of the previous release movie, The Best Figures. Still isn't bad, don't get me wrong. I, I, in terms of the mold, I still really like it. For a Voyager figure, this is my favorite version of Starscream. I mean, like, you, you have this section here. I mean, that could have had some paint thrown on there. Giving it a, a very metallic or real-world sort of look. Uh, you look at the face, you got some nice blue kind of thrown along the side. You got the gold right there. But again, the rest of the head is just molded in this gray plastic which doesn't really do too much for it you got a couple little gold bits kind of painted in here and then you have the uh, amber colored little bits that uh, you still have that whole uh, gimmick where you rotate the head and you can see that the gears although i don't know how well that's going to come across you can see that the gears actually move but just the detail is lacking throughout the entire thing and and that's very unfortunate because again as a figure that they're you know trying to rep uh, represent as the best I, I just feel like this is definitely not it heck i probably would have been happy if they just reissued that leader class one that one does without question look like the best now, usually when I look at these, I, I take into consideration, uh, it doesn't feel like that's lined up properly. Yeah, maybe it is. Uh, I, I look at this and say, if this is a figure that I have in my collection, is this one good enough to replace the original one? And on that merit alone, I absolutely say no. If you don't have that original figure, this is still a pretty good one to have. I do like the fact that they got rid of those tattoos. That was never something that I really liked. It was uh, an aesthetic that I just felt was a little bit weird. I guess you could say a lot of that kind of stuff for the uh, Michael Bay Transformer movies. But I just, again, I I'm just really underwhelmed by the look of it. They're paying for that extra detail for the paint. And there we go. I got that. Yeah. Yeah, all right, had that popped out. Uh, if you're paying that extra premium price to get a premium color, you definitely are not getting it here. Now, uh, he still has his missiles that you can still plug in here, and you still have the spring-loaded gimmick that allows you to shoot it. Or if you really wanted to, you can leave them tabbed in on the back section. Uh, what's interesting on some of the instructions, uh, it actually does show these as being flat like that, uh, which I thought was kind of interesting. So you can straighten that out if you really wanted to, uh, or in some of the or the some of the pictures, I, I should say, had it looking like this, and then the instructions... Oh, no, I'm sorry. The, some of the pictures have it looking like this, and then the instructions have you having it flat like that. So I, I thought that was weird but uh, I kind of like leaving it angled like that. It just gives some depth to the overall look. Uh, again, a, a good figure, um, just definitely lacking in, in the detail that you'd be paying that premium price for. So uh, if you don't have a Starscream, this is a good one to pick up. Uh, you're, you're just not going to get all that extra stuff in it. And honestly, you got to kind of judge what's cheaper, you know, the price on this versus the price on the original one. Which one can you get a better deal on, I think? But really, of the ones that I've gotten uh, so far from the Takara movie, The Best Line, Starscream and Bumblebee are probably what I would consider the weakest looking. Now, there are several ones that I didn't get because they already sold out, and unfortunately, I don't have the ability to get them, such as Megatron. I know a lot of people wanted me to review Megatron, but that thing went out pretty quick, so that is one that does look better. But among the ones that I do have, as I said, Bumblebee and Starscream here are probably letdowns. 
So it's definitely not a figure that I can strongly recommend, but if it is a figure that you'd like to add to your collection, he is available right now at Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on this guy, as well as the rest of the wide range of Takara Tomy figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Don't forget that if you like this video, to please hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping me out, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you're already subscribed, do me a real quick favor and click that bell right below this video, and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And as always, until next time, be excellent to each other.